and welcome back to another video! Okay, so in this video I will be going over what Pokemon I would uh, keep and remove from Generation 1 in uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, so, I think for all these we're just going to skip over the status because I think it's pretty much been confirmed that all the status will be in the game. Uh, but I'll just quickly go over this, my opinion of the status here. Bulbasaur's line, eh, that's alright. Charmander line, eh, don't really care about it. Squirtle line, one of my favourite lines of all time. Okay, so. Now. Here's where it starts getting interesting. The Caterpie and Weedle line. Um, I don't care much about the Beedle li Weedle line because... I never used Weedle or K or um, Kakuna or Beedrill, uh, but I do have like a bit of an emotional connection to both because I would always use it when I was a child playing through the original uh, Generation One games. Um, but yeah, hmm. Uh, there is an abundance of bug type Pokemon, and I do think some of them will need uh, trimming out. But I think. It we should keep the originals just because, just for the sake of the originals. Also, the Pidgey line is going to have to stay because this is the England region and there's lots of Pidgeys. Um, beyond the meme, I see no reason to keep the Rattata, Rattata line in. Um, so the entire Rattata line can go and the alone forms. Um, and I think all the Yolonian forms should get the axe as well, so I'll get around to them when I get around to them. Spiro and Fero, yeah, they get the axe. Ekans and Arbok, they get the axe. I'm getting messages on Facebook. Um, Pikachu and Raichu are going to have to stay merely because Pikachu is uh, the... Um, series mascot, but Alone and Raichu can go. Alo, right? I uh, I don't know. Sandshrew. Uh, right. I there's a uh, two reasons why. Right. So I'm basing why I think they should still go based off like their popularity and the, whether they. And their impact on the competitive scene, and I really don't see like many people just going, "Oh, I love um, Sand Slash and Sand Shrew." Nido King and Nido Queen, I think they should stay because they are actually decent and competitive. Um, also, it gives like a bit, a uh, bit more like um, connection to the Let's Go. And they are somewhat popular. Um, and Clefairy and Clefable are just fun to use to be annoying. Now, the Vulpix line doesn't really have much of a competitive, um, you know, doesn't have much influence on competitive, but um, is just. Ninetales has one of the best shinies, uh, and it, uh, it is a really popular shiny, so I think Ninetales should stay at least. Um, Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. While I love the Mystery Dungeon games, I think they should go, because Clefable and Clefairy are pretty much them, but better. Zubat line... Gotta keep them in there for the meme, like, come on, you, you can't have a game without Zubats. Um, Oddish line could go, in my opinion, and nobody would really care, and Paris, Paris line could go, and Venomoth, 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 so all of them can go. And again, just get rid of the Alolans, because... Yeah, they're kind of cool, but they wouldn't really make much sense in Gala, would they? Um, Diglett and Dugtrio. Um, Dugtrio is decent, especially with uh, its arena trap ability. Um, 
But Meowth and Persian and their Alolan counterparts, they don't really need to be in here. So beyond Team Rocket, they're not that memorable. Uh, yeah, and same goes for Psyduck. Beyond Misty, Psyduck, Psyduck they're not that memorable. Uh, Mankey and Primate should go. Should we keep Growlithe and Arcanine? Uh, they are the Nine Tails counterparts. We must all let them stay. Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Poliwrath. But this would also mean if I get rid of these, that, that would also mean we'd have to get rid of um, Politoed. And same for if we keep them. Yeah, no, Politoed isn't that good. So goodbye. The Abra line has to stay, and the Machamp line has to has to stay because uh, they were and they were like the first uh, like um, trade evolutions, and they are just like quite popular and quite well remembered. Um, Bellsprout's line doesn't really need to be here. The Tentacle line doesn't need to be here because. We have a bare bulky water poison types now in the um what's its face? Uh oh I forgot its name. Yeah, we'll go around to that when I get to the Alolans. Uh the Alola decks. Uh Again Geodune and Graveler can and Golem can stay just because um they were the first trade evolutions. Um, Ponyta and Rapidash can go. Slowpoke and Slowbro can stay. Magnemite and Magneton can stay. Mostly because I love Magnezone. Magnezone is just like one of the best designed Pokemon. And it's OU so it is decent and competitive. Farfetch can go can uh, far fuck off. Do Duo and Dodrio can go, and same with Seal and Dugon. To be honest, and the Grime and Muckline as well, because I do I, I have always seen them as some of the weaker Generation One Pokemon. That can go away. We'll go off. Um, Shelter and Cloister and the Ghastly line can stay because Shelter and Cloister are decent and so are, so is the Ghastly line and also again trade fit some of the first trade evolutions. Like if I had to get rid of any of the trade evolutions, it would probably be the Geodude line because eh, they're, they're just not as iconic as um, the first ghosts or Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam in like um, Sabrina with Sabrina. And my chop line isn't that iconic, but it's it's always just been like one of those lines you could always get. Mm. Onyx has to stay merely because Steelix. Also, Steelix has actually been confirmed for the game, so it's definitely going to get in. Uh, but all of these can go and it pains me to get rid of Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan especially Hitmon uh, Chan because I do they are some of my favorite Pokemon from generation one also definitely you and your evolution you you two you can just burn in hell um, or be in the distortion world Weezing is actually a decent defensive wall so it can stay Ry Rhydon can stay because of Hyperia Chansey can stay because of Eviolite and it, um, Lissy, Tangler can stay because of Tangrowth, Kangaskhan can go because there's no Mega Evolution so there's no reason for you to be here, Horsey and Seedra can stay be, uh, because of um, King, uh, not Kingla, the um, Seedra, no that's Seedra, oh, I can't remember his name, anyway, Goldeen and Sea King can go, Star you and Star can stay, Mr. Mime and Jinx can go. Scythe can stay because of Scizor. Oh wait, why am I getting with Star me? So Mr. Mime can go because he's creepy. J 
Jinx and Jinx can go just because he's just not that good. Well, neither is Mr. Mime, but it, Mr. Mime's more creepy than he is bad. Scythe can stay because of Scizor. Electabuzz and uh, Magma can stay because of Electivire and Magmatar. Pinsa can stay... Uh, actually, no, I can't really figure out a reason for Pinsa. Well, if you have, to, if you have Scyther, you have to have Pinsa because they are rivals. Tauros... I find it hard to justify keeping Tauros. Magikarp can stay because it's the ultimate thing of like, um, you know, if you persevere, you will, um, you know, be rewarded greatly um, and all that. Lapras. Uh, it's a decent bulky water type and is good in rain, so I guess it could stay for rain teams. Ditto is just a lot of fun to like slap a choice scarf on it. And then just uh, wait, just let your opponent get a bunch of stuff up while you set, you know, get a bunch of stats raised while you're setting up en entry hazards. Then you switch into a choice scarf ditto and just sweep their entire team. Um, the evolutions have to stay just because they're iconic. Polygon has to stay because of Polygon Z, and Polygon Z is quite good. Um, mm, I have real trouble justifying the fossil Pokemon's pl place to stay here other than the fact that they're fossil Pokemon and I'm a st star as a meme I guess they can stay because I have taken out large chunks of Gen 1 already and they are kind of iconic Snorlax Mm, yes, yeah, Norlax is iconic. And if I had to take out any of the legendaries, legendary birds, it would probably be Articuno. But I, I would say if you take one of them out, you have to take all three of them out. So it's one of the, it's all of them or none of them, in my opinion. Um, you know, Dratini, Lion, Sustain, because it's the original dragons. Mewtwo, uh, you know, and Mew and Mewtwo are just iconic of Generation 1, so... Yeah, that's the Pokemon I would remove from Generation 1. And uh, that I will uh, probably be doing the same thing for Generation 2. Which, there will probably be a lot of quits in there because a lot of Gen 2 Pokemon aren't competitive. Generation 3, Generation 4, which you can probably guess it won't be too many quits because I do love my Gen 4 Pokemon. Generation 5, which you can imagine, it's just going to be a lot of hacking and slashing away at all the Pokemon. Then Generation 6, and then Gen 7, and then by the time we've done that, Gen 8 will probably be out, to be honest. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that to subscribe and ring a ding that notification bell, otherwise YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.